Hello and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Episode 6. So we're back. Um, all that's really happened in between last episode and this one is I edited to see how long last episode was. And it was very long. <laughs> uh, it was very edited too. I'm going to try to avoid doing that again. Um, another note, if you noticed in the last episode the audio was quite loud. My mic, I had to turn it down a lot. Um, Something had gotten tweaked with my settings, with my microphone, so if there was a bit of uh, loud audio, I'm t hopefully this episode it'll be better, and it won't be quite so... I mean, I had to turn it down a lot in the editing process, so hopefully it'll be much better for you. So let's try not to die horribly here. Uh, go! Oof. That was close. What does this do? There we go. Turns that thing off. Alright, so further into the barrow we go. We're now aware that the dead seem to live in these barrows, which is fun. Uh, grandfather didn't tell me about that, so that's nice. But uh, we've also learned that we can kill them, which seems a bit weird because they're already dead. But uh, who, who am I to complain? about that. There seems to be one right there as well. We sneak a hit on him while he's asleep. There we go. Now I know, I know stepping out of carry for a minute, what these are, but uh, Morin sees this and sees this and doesn't really know. He knows it's some sort of chemical reaction, but he doesn't know how big it'll be, if it'll be contained, so he just decides to steer clear of it. For safety reasons. I may have to up the difficulty here because I seem to be killing them pretty easily. As a matter of fact, whoop. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that right now actually. Just to see if uh, we can make this game. Cause, but you see that one hit did pretty good. He didn't really hit me very hard. But let's do that. Let's first save and then settings. Hopefully this doesn't come back to uh, bite me, so to speak. Okay, how much damage does that thing do? 26, no thank you. Okay. Alright. I don't know why I'm sneaking with a torch, that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, a waterfall. Oh. There we go. Oh, there we go. Staggering is good. Alright. So we're doing okay. Expert doesn't seem to make it impossible for us, but uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Yes, all kinds of goodies to sell and make lots of money from. Onward. I find it's a bit difficult to play like you don't know what's going on in Bleak Balls Barrow because I've done it so many times. It's not as easy as you would think. Troll, whoop, okay. So she wasn't lying. It does seem, hello, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it does seem there were trolls. I, I couldn't resist myself from, uh, from doing that for a minute, but back into character. Grab some some of these glowing mushrooms. Possibly they'll be useful. Some more right here. There's a chest. Let's see if we can get a look at where we're gonna be going. Oh, we got a guy. Um, I don't know if he's going to be deadly or not. As far as restless. Yep, very deadly. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Run, 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 run. Oh, see? This made it much more difficult. This is probably good. Posing of paralysis. Hmm. We'll put that on our bow. And we'll take a couple of healing potions. Here we go. There 
There we go. That's the first time I've ever used the uh, bashing mechanic with the bow, but uh, it seems to work. Nice. Yep, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Did we miss some here? No, we didn't. This is going to be more difficult, but that's okay. That's a good thing. We're going to have to use poison, so that'll be nice. This mod will actually make poisons, Skyrim will actually make poisons uh, useful. So that'll be good, because I never used them in any playthrough before, because I haven't really had a need. Because usually if you play an archer, you just kill everything in one or two hits with sneaking. But uh, Skyrim really redoes that and makes it more more difficult and uh, you just gotta be quick. I need to get some of the perks. I think there's some perks in, oh I have one, I should totally use it. We're gonna use, where's our light armor at? Can we increase this again? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, I think there are perks that make you go faster, I wanna say. Mobility right here. You're able to move faster with a drawn short bow. See, and then you get faster after you sheath it. That's nice. That's what that's what we need right there. Auto pick. Two two lock picks lost. That's fine. I gained one. Net one lock pick. <laughs> Alright, onward we go further into the cavern. Now you guys are probably getting annoyed with me harvesting all these mushrooms, but uh, I need, I, oh, I can't get that one. I don't feel like trying to get it. I need them uh, early on. I don't really know what they actually do. Let's taste one and see. Glowing mushrooms. There's a shock that is incredibly useful. Why do I have the feeling I'm about to be attacked here? This just seems ominous, doesn't it? Let's quick save. Oh, that's why it feels ominous. Does he see us? I don't think he does. We should... See if we can't get a couple of sneak attacks on him. Stagger him. There we go. Yeah, you better kneel. Whew. I feel like if I hadn't have staggered him, that could have been very bad for me. <laughs> uh, I don't want your battle axe. Oh dear. Do I have the, uh, can I bash this one? No. So we have to test. This is the most fun minigame. Oh. Okay. Oh man. I'm holding my breath as I do it. A little bit more. There we go. Nice. Iron helmet. Mm, it doesn't weigh that much. I can sell it. All right. Into the sanctum. I'm assuming this is where uh, where the stone will be. Uh, I think Arngar said it's in the innermost uh, room. So let's see. Wondering how how quiet we should be. I hear more of these. And hold your breath. And go. Okay. Oh, I hear undead. Right there. Well, I, I wish I could have seen that kill cam, but it appears I killed you quite easily. Are there any more? Usually there's not just one. Oh, there's one. Well, that was easy. Sneak attacks seem to matter. Got you as well. And, and it is, let's make sure, on expert. I guess I'm just doing well with the bow. How about that? I hope I installed Skyrim properly. I think I did. I mean... See, everything else seems to be working. Oh, geez. Well, we may have to put our backpack on. Which one do we want? Well, let's go with the black one. Where's that? Not oh, the knapsack. I thought I picked up two backpacks. Light. This one's 35. Oh, we'll need to do this one. Let's see, how does it look? do not look too bad. Alright. That looks alright. You see how it has potions on it and then an axe? 
a bedroll, a water skin, and a torch. That's because I actually have those things in my inventory. That's what's so cool about that backpack mod. It's part of um, Skyri. No, it's not. It's part of Frostfall. I'm just kidding. Part of Frostfall. Okay. I'll take the arrows. Bone meal. I'm going to check everywhere now, see if I can find any more little gems I can sell. All right, on we go. Further in and hopefully closer to getting this tablet so we can get out of this place. Interesting. Seems to be some sort of ancient storytelling. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this looks familiar. So this is where I'm assuming we have to look at the golden claw. Bear in the palm of your hand, huh? Bear, moth, owl. Well, let's see. Looks like we can get these to match. And it's even drawn. How is this a puzzle, guys? It's even drawn for you right there that you put the claw. <laughs> oh well. People making their puzzles must have been C students. Not that there's anything wrong with getting C's. I did that plenty in college. More for lack of effort than anything else, though. Well, this looks pretty ominous. This seems to hopefully be the center room. It seems pretty grandiose. So let's, uh. Wow, this is pretty. Waterfall and skylight. That's nice. Hmm. Um. Am I just hungry or is that wall glowing? Um, oh, let's, I can't really resist this. Okay, let's go, oh goodness, uh-oh, uh, run away, get cover, we're better from a distance. Is it, does, did it see me? Because I can usually take these guys out pretty easily from far away. Oh gosh, that did nothing. Keep staggering. Keep getting staggered. Keep staggering him. We need some. Oh geez, let's. Did he just. Where'd my bow go? Oh geez. He knocked my bow out of my hands. Um, okay, let's think about this. We'll use this. There we go. Now we run. Now we run. And we get a potion of stamina. Fortify stamina and a potion of uh, damage his stamina. That sounds good. All right, come on. Wonder if I'll do any better with the uh, crossbow. Now this seems to be working. We keep staggering him. Okay, and there we go. I think I put more than three arrows in him, but only three seem to have stuck. You, sir, were not like your friends. Okay, what do you have? Oh, here, this must be what Farngar's looking for. Okay. Oh, uh, can I carry this? I think I can. Nope. What am I carrying that's not worth it? Let's see. Carrying armor 125. Let's see. Other armor, I could use that. Is that an imperial armor? Uh, but it weighs. What well, weighs the most? Iron? Oh, it's gotta go. There'll be more, I'm sure. 
There will be more, I'm sure. We'll see. What, yeah, 100 gold. That's more than I get for killing a bunch of bandits, and I haven't even gotten the reward for this yet. Uh, ooh, this looks like this is worth a good bit. Oh, Valen with shortbow. Is that better than my current shortbow? Let's see. Currently, I've got 43, and the Valen wood is 56. Yes. Nice. We'll have to put that on our uh, favorites. Where is that? Needs to be two. How's it look? It was a short bow, wasn't it? Yeah. How does it look? I can't really. Can't tell right now. We'll have to look at it in here. Where's that? Short bow. Huh. It looks pretty ornate. It looks pretty good. I think we'll stick with that. Okay, let's go. Off we go now. I'm assuming this hopefully will lead out. Before we go, let's check our... Okay, 20. Nice. We're not very cold. That's good. Very good. Well, this seems to have been a worthwhile endeavor. Maybe, maybe I underestimated whether or not it's worth diving into these tombs a little bit early. Seems to be plenty of loot to go around. I seem to be making quite... I feel like this is desecrating a... Uh, yeah, we're not going to take that. I feel like that's a bit rude. This seems to be someone's grave. So we're going to respect them. Let's see what time it is. Once we get out of here. Oh, it, it's, oh, it's late. Jeez. I imagine I'm probably tired. jump down uh, all right there we go well while we're here let's mine mine this all right off we go let's check our map and see where we are Oh man, that took us quite a ways. Uh, well, I think we can go to Riverwood and stay the night before we have to head back. I don't think... Um, let's do a quick save as well. I just felt a really bad stutter and I want to make sure that we don't lose, lose anything. I feel like um, getting back sooner rather than later is not really a cause for concern with this. It's not going to fall into the hands of anyone else. The dragons only attacked one place over the course of about four days. So I don't feel bad about going and spending the night. Oh, that was a bad stutter. Oh. <laughs> take that, wolves. I will take your pelts and I will make my armor better and warmer with it. You will not have died in vain. Your death will have purpose. <laughs> okay. Um, what's the air like? Pleasant. I guess we can wade across this, right? It's not going to be too big of a deal. Let's see. How wet are we? 100% wet. Nice. This is wet and cold at work. You see, we're dripping. I don't know how our torch didn't go out, but you can even hear hear the water dripping a little bit as well. Hmm. Well, let's get back to uh, Riverwood and see if we can't spend the night. There we go. We've dried off by this fire. Uh, I felt it would have been a bit rude to walk into the inn soaking wet. Uh, but I must admit, uh, with the backpack and the sword and the fur armor, uh, Morin does look like quite the ranger, doesn't he? He does. Although, with this ornate bow, I don't know. And also with the quiver down there at his back, it looks it looks, looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. There's a bit of a stutter whenever I change weapons. I'm not really sure what that's about. But uh, let's see about getting a good night's sleep, getting some food in us, and then then we'll head on to uh, White sure Run. Like you could use some help. Um, is it the backpack? Does it look heavy? Do I look weak? Is that what you're... Oh, well. I don't owe you money, 
I need a room. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. Out. She owns the place. She has <sighs> what she wants. Right. Inn's closed. Bar's still open, though. Are you kidding Feel me? Feel free to sit and put your head down on the table for as long as you want. Well, you might as well room. give me some water. Some more water. Give me a mug of it. Here, take a look at this. Oh, that's not some what I meant to click. Men came by oh, and left goodness. That's fine. That was accidental click. All right, then. Okay, well, it looks like we're not going to be able to sleep until we get to Whiterun. So let's just keep trucking. It's 2 in the morning. We'll just get there and we'll sleep a lot. You know, I, uh, I didn't know if you guys were wondering or not, but uh, the reason why when I pick uh, herbs and plants that I get more than just one is the, uh, the harvest overhaul. It, uh, it can be looked at as OP, but really with balancing with Skyrie and Alchemy, I don't think it is. In vanilla, it's just totally overpowered, but uh, it's more realistic, really. What it does is, you know, if you pick a flower that's like a big bush of flower petals, you don't just get one, you get several, and same thing with butterflies every time you harvest a butterfly you get two butterfly wings as opposed to one which to me just makes much more sense uh much more sense than uh everyone's asleep all right let's head to the inn and see if we can't get some food and get a night's sleep and then tomorrow we'll be off to uh to tell the all all, all about this dragon stone or i guess it was farangar about the dragon stone come on in just right. stoke the fire Nice. Right, let's take off our hood and our cloak and our backpack, which is an inner favorites. Which I don't think we we're carrying too much. Maybe we can what sell some it? stuff. I enjoy this work well enough, mm -hmm. but I'm ready to retire. What have you got Drink for sale? For the thirsty, food for the hungry. What will you buy from me? Is the question. You'll buy potions. Ooh, uh, I don't feel comfortable doing that. <laughs> Um, goat cheese, huh? I suppose I can eat that. I may have to wear my backpack. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to just sit down here and Need eat some food. Else? Just let me know. There we go. Um, let's have some goat cheese. I'm full, nice. And let's have some boiled water. Thirst has been quenched. I wasn't talking to you. What can I, get you? I have no interest. I, who's talking? You again? This is the second time you've done this. I didn't even want any... Uh, Alright, I just need a room. I just need a room. Pushing me. Okay. That's, that's fine. I think I know where it is. Yes. Pretty sure it's up here. You don't need to come in. Just just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I've had a long day. Very long day. Whoa.